hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we'll see how to determine the magnitude of two forces if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe to get notification when new videos are uploaded every week so let's proceed to the problem the two structural members say f1 which is 2 kN and f2 which is 3 kN act at joint O and they make an angle of 30 degree and 60 degree with the horizontal x-axis so we are required to determine the magnitude of these two forces which is the vector sum of the two forces the resultant and the angle in which the resultant makes with the positive x-axis so we have two methods of determining the magnitude of the resultant uh, the first method uses force components so you have 2 kN and you have 3 kN so first let's uh, create the component force the rectangular component for these both forces so we have vertical and horizontal component for F1 and F2 so by using these angles 30 degree and 60 degree let's calculate the horizontal and vertical components so f1x will be f1 cos theta since uh, f1 is in the left direction to the uh, to the negative direction of the x-axis it will be minus 2 kN multiplied by cosine of 30 degree will have minus 1.73 kN and f1y will be f1 multiplied by sine 30 degree and will have 1 kN similarly to calculate f2 f2 multiplied by f2x sorry f2 multiplied by cosine of the angle cos 60 degree is negative in the negative x direction and f2y will be f2 multiplied by sine 60 degree when we'll have negative 2.59 kilonewton so the next step is to calculate the resultant of <coughs> the force so so the resultant for sum of forces in the x direction will be f1x plus f2x so it will be minus 3.23 kilonewton and the resultant of all forces in the vertical direction will be 1 plus negative 2.59 it will give us minus 1.59 kilonewton then using vector addition then the magnitude of the resultant will be under square root of rx squared plus ry squared so negative 3.32 squared plus negative 1.59 squared the sign doesn't make a difference since it's squared it will give us 3.61 kilonewton so this will be the magnitude of the vector sum the next task will be to calculate the magnitude of the angle in which the resultant makes with the positive x-axis so this will be the angle the angle will be theta x will be this angle so in order to determine theta x first you have to calculate the magnitude of the angle alpha so using tan tan alpha will be minus 1.59 which is the opposite divided by the adjacent minus 3.23 and tan inverse of this value will give us 26.2 degree finally theta x will be the sum of alpha plus 180 degree since this is a straight line it makes 180 degree so theta x will be 206.2 degree The other method to calculate uh, the resultant is to <coughs> form a vector parallelogram and calculate the resultant. Once we construct a parallelogram, the diagonal of the parallelogram will represent the magnitude of the vector sum. So using cosine law, the resultant will be f1 squared plus f2 squared minus 2 times f1 f2 cosine of the angle between them under square root so since we know the magnitude of these two forces 
2 squared plus 3 squared 3 squared minus 2 times 2 times 3 cosine of 90 degree so you know that cosine of 90 degree is 0 so it will be reduced to square root of uh, 13 which will give us 3.61 kilonewton so this is for all today i'll see you in the next video thanks guys